Hi, welcome to the new video. Today I'm doing a Harley bike gas tank and I'm doing um, the three-step devil. I'm starting with the highlight white stencil. And afterwards there's the grey. As colors are using an opaque uh, white, and the color is uh, solvent based. So, actually, it's dry immediately, so you can touch it. Um, and then I'm using a transparent colors from House of Color, um, which is purple. Uh, fire red and um, uh, yellow. The transfer colors um, only paint on a white surface, so everything that's black stays black. And um, because they're transparent, you can combine the colors on the actual surface. So Everywhere where the purple is and the red goes over it, you get a darker red, and everywhere with the yellow, you get an orange tone. And then uh, you can put back on the first white and just uh, work out some highlights. So not everything, um, just look for an imaginary light source and then you paint some stuff in a bright version. And I'm intended mostly I'm, I'm uh, doing this two, three, four times that I'm putting bed on the stencil and I'll highlight some areas and then I'm add some color to it. So you get like a nice colory effect. So, and um, on the top of the uh, devil or demon I'm doing some chains. Uh, this is a two-part stencil set where you do the chains and then you use the cover-up stencil, the negative on the black tank. There's also a positive form of this, this stencil, so you can uh, paint the, the uh, chain in a different color. So then you have like a really nice and perfect little chain. and a real fast, really, really fast. And I'm adding some ghost flames to this.
you can really see how, how highly detailed and fast is this method of painting the chains is. It's just two steps. And there you have all the chains. Um, on this stencil that I'm using right now, I've put a little bit of spray glue in the back so that it sticks on the surface. So now I'm I'm adding some color for the back for the for the background, the ghost flames. And I cover all the stencils uh, the the chain parts so the color only comes to the background So now I'm using the transparent colors to, to go over the the whole image so that the chains are not just black and white but they have the the fire reflections too in the highlight segments. And then uh, as same as with the demon you can just put back on the stencils and, and um, do some highlights again. So that's a real advantage of using a good stencil set. You can always get in back in there and do the highlights. Okay, that's it. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to the channel. And bye.